And Roy Jones Jr. presents, in association with Rock and Sock Productions, HBO Sports, and the Stratosphere Casino Hotel and Tower, presents this contest scheduled for eight rounds, Junior Welterweights. Your referee for this event is Toby Gibson. Introducing now the principals first, in the red corner to my left, wearing the navy blue trunks with white trim and weighing in at 141 pounds with a professional record that reads 10 victories, six defeats, and three knockouts. He hails from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Here is John Hoffman. Hoffman. His opponent in the blue corner, wearing the burgundy trunks with the white trim, weighing 141 and a half pounds. His professional record, 22 victories, five defeats, one draw, and 11 wins coming by way of knockout. He hails from the city of champions, Pensacola, Florida. Here is Lemuel Maine Nelson. Nelson. Eight rounds, junior welterweights. Okay, gentlemen, trunks are at the right height. Gentlemen, I've given your instructions prior to this fight in your respective dressing rooms. Do I have any questions from the blue corner? Do I have any questions from the red corner? Yes, sir. Give me a clean fight. Good luck to both of you. Junior World Tour action, John Hoffman and Lemuel Nelson. Lem Nelson in the burgundy trunks and John Hoffman, the southpaw. Lemuel Nelson, his motto could be, have gloves, will travel. His last fight was in March. March 1st, he was main event on Roy Jones Jr. Presents. A draw against Frank Hotelling. And here he is just a few weeks later, fighting in an eight rounder. Doesn't matter to him, Tony, whether he's a main event guy or not. He wants to be in there. He wants to get to work. A lot of guys would be like, are you kidding? Not me. I want to be headliner. I want to be the co-feature. But you don't learn if you don't fight. It will be interesting to see what kind of carryover we might observe from Nelson's last fight. Against Totelling, he started slowly. Then he came on, scored a knockdown, and finished the fight with a flourish, but got the draw on the road. So he felt cheated a little bit by the verdict. And you know, if you learned something from it and you carried over into your next fight, maybe you came out stronger. I hope so. I mean, that's what people are going to look at. I mean, you say he got a draw on the road, I guess you're saying that he really won. We had him by a point, and, uh, but in that fight, he got off to a slow start. Last half of the fight, he was very strong. Had he fought the whole fight that way, he would have gotten a clear-cut victory. I remember he fought John Brown from Atlantic City in New York, and Brown just took him to school. And he seems like he learns. He's trying to tee off right now. John Hoffman had none of it. <laughs> don't wait, don't wait. He fought uh, big punching Asalina Fritas, dropped him, but he got dropped in the process and stopped. There's a little pop in Nelson, Nelson's punches. But if Hoffman keeps putting his hands down like that, Nelson's fast, and fast enough to counter with a right hand. And especially if you can time the guy. Oh, yeah. He puts him up and then he drops him down to shake it out and relax a little bit. Nelson's legs are wide like he's going to rush in there. Well, he tried to send Hoffman back to Minnesota right there, and he missed. And that would have been a nonstop flight. <laughs> Nelson trying to load up with that right hand. Hoffman's got to start working that right jab. Hoffman with a good body shot. He's got the height if he can establish himself here and cut off the ring. He's not really popping the jab just to, to at least get the range down. The wind blows through. As we come to the end of the opener, Nelson and Hoffman. There's the bell. That's the end of round one.
Grab hey, this. You won that first round, okay? Get that off your mouth. Looking great. You need to use that jab more. You're not punching enough, okay? If he backs straight up, throw that left hand, okay? Looking beautiful. You won that round. You can hang in there with this guy. I know. All right, just relax. Breathe. Put your hands in here. Get a shot of water. You won that round now. You got seven. Come on, let's go. Take a deep breath. Go to that body B. Okay. Don't move straight back on me. Seconds out. Seconds out. We approach the second round. Lemuel round Nelson two. and John Hoffman start round two of their scheduled eight round junior welterweight bout. Nelson in the burgundy trunks. Hoffman the southpaw. Very interesting career. He's 10 and 6 in a career that started in 1992. Long time ago. Gets two fights in 92, one in 93, 94, 95. Waits gets one in 98, then three in 2000. 2001, he got three more, and he's been active with four already in 2002. So it goes to show you what management is about in boxing and how you have to get some momentum. Yeah, in St. Paul, Minnesota, it's hard to find those connections. So here he is, 10 years after, with a 16-fight career total, where Lem Nelson has 28 fights in a career that started in 1996. Nelson trying to use some straight right hand. Hoffman trying to go to the body with his straight left. Hoffman missed with the right hook to the body, then able to get it in the second time. Okay, stop punching. Come on. Watch the shoulder. Watch the shoulder. Nelson's shorter. Can't really reach him with the jab just yet. Nelson was uh, pulling at his nose a little bit. Stop punching. Stop punching. Stop punching. You can't say that Lem Nelson has had patty cake matchups lately. He goes uh, on the road to hoteling. He's got to overcome some height and reach there. And he faces John Hoffman here. He's got the lefty. Nelson kind of has a little hitch in his right hand. He kind of brings it back and just kind of lets it fly. Like that. Boy, that's Down. a great shot. Oh, and he might end it. He did. It is. Well, how's that for a hitch, huh? He got that hitch going real good, like a buggy whip. Lemuel Nelson might be the best punch we've ever seen him throw. He got that right. I mean, he just, uh, he cocked his hand, nailed him. I think he might have hit him with a grazing shot as he was going down. But when you go down face first, you, you're out. You got, you got whacked. He shows that in his fights against Hotelling. He's able to score a knockdown with a right hand, and here it is. It looks like he's struggling with the style for a little bit, looking for a way, looking for a way. And boy, he did not miss. Now watch how Nelson sets this up. Watch the right hand, how he brings it back. Hoffman's hand started to come down, timed it. There he's out, and there's a grazing shot. Now, what did Hoffman buy into? He Looked like he was looking at something else. Because watch his, watch his right hand, how it goes down. He didn't even jab, he just brought it down. Hoffman may have bought the left shoulder yep. by, uh, by Lem Nelson. But you, but you nailed it on the head, Dave. You said some guys, their next fight out after, after a questionable decision, either they get down on themselves or they step up. As Hoffman is, is still down, but he's, he's talking. But he stepped up his game. But like you said, he, he started slow, but I think he couldn't figure the guy out. Yeah, the guy was tall. A lefty, and a guy who basically, if he had a little more seasoning, could have been tough on him because he was able to cut off the ring at times. If the guy had a little bit more punch, it was going to be difficult for Lem Nelson, but did he ever land a terrific right hand? And you know what? Also in, the, in, that, in that punch was the perfect timing because had Hoffman brought his hand up instead of down, he blocks it. So he catches him in the middle. An exquisite piece of timing by Lem Nelson and a great punch.
Very impressive by uh... Ladies and gentlemen, the time, two minutes, five seconds of the second round. The winner by knockout, Lemuel Main Nelson. Nelson. So Lem Nelson makes an emphatic statement.